North Korea celebrated a key political event on Saturday, showing off its military might rather than forging ahead with any provocative actions. Our economy Kim turned to some experts for how they perceive this could affect inter-Korean relations. Thousands of torch-holding troops goose-stepped through Kim Il-sung Square as part of North Korea's parade marking 70 years of the country's ruling Workers' Party. North Korea celebrated the anniversary on Saturday with a massive military parade through the streets of Pyongyang, displaying its latest weaponry, including drones and missiles. Rather than launch a long-range rocket to mark the anniversary, the regime spent two hours showing off its military might. South Korea said the North used the event to brush off its negative image. North Korea seemed to strengthen its internal solidarity and improve its public image, considering its image in the international community. Meanwhile, with South Korea remaining hopeful for improved inter-Korean ties, preparations for the planned reunion of families separated by the Korean War are going smoothly. A preparatory team from South Korea will head to the Mount Kumgang Resort in North Korea on October 15th. Ninety South Koreans and 97 North Koreans will meet with long-lost relatives at the resort from October 20th to the 26th. Many analysts believe North Korea will continue to seek talks with South Korea after the family reunions. There is possibility North Korea will bring up the resumption of the long-stalled Mount Kumgang tour program and the lifting of economic sanctions following North Korea's 2010 torpedo attack on a South Korean warship at the negotiating table. Experts in Seoul say the extent of improvement in inter-Korean relations will depend on how much the South Korean government is willing to accept North Korea's request. Connie Kim, Arirang News.